Well, we're going to turn now to a major security concern at Buckingham Palace this morning. A man scaling a fence to get inside the Queen's home in one of the most serious incidents there in decades. ABC's Nick Schriffen is outside the palace right now. Good morning, Nick. Hey, good morning, Bianca. You're absolutely right. This is one of the most serious security breaches here in more than 30 years. And this morning, police are investigating just how it's possible that someone could break in to the Queen's home. It's like an intruder breaking into the White House. Buckingham Palace security is supposed to be top notch, but this morning we're learning a man was able to scale the 12 foot walls, reportedly kick open a door, and walk right into the royal staterooms. The man reportedly set off motion detectors, and that's when police rushed to the scene, arrested him, and charged him with burglary, trespassing, and criminal damage. Whenever there's a break in a royal palace, the Home Secretary has summoned the Commissioner of Police to say, hey, let's have a review of security. There will be one. It's the worst security breach since 1982 when this man, Michael Fagan, hopped the fence, climbed up a drain pipe right into the Queen's bedroom. She woke up and spoke to Fagan for 10 minutes until security arrived. In 2004, a more colorful intruder, the Cape Crusader scaled the walls and protested British fathers separated from their children. And in 2005, the strangest breach of all, a comedian dressed kind of like Osama bin Laden, gate crashed Prince William's 21st birthday party. He got all the way to the prince, even kissing him on both cheeks. Some of this might seem bizarre, but former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf calls all the incidents serious. Now that was a serious breach of security, but the reason it happened was because the royal family do not want to be completely cocooned in this sort of protective cell. They rely upon the popularity and their own publicity. And this incident occurred on Monday night when the Queen and her family weren't home. But this morning, Scotland Yard's investigating this, taking it very seriously. And most importantly, Dan and Bianca, trying to figure out how to prevent this from happening again. Yeah, that's the question, Nick. Thank you.